guys. We woke up to another gorgeous sunny day and looking forward to getting some things done. Carlos was thinking of grilling some fish that our friends gave to us. So he has to go and get some wood and we're gonna take you along on the day with us. The comments that you guys sent on our last video, it was so nice of you guys. The, the comments were so incredible and so inspirational. And uh, actually one of you had mentioned that you haven't seen Zena in a while and she is enjoying herself <laughs> here on the balcony. I'll turn the camera around so you can see her. Oh, there she is, <laughs> peeking her head up from the, uh, the candles. Uh, look at this view. And look at the camillas. They're starting to come out on our camilla tree. There's uh, a lot of flowers that flower at this time of the year, like our lilies. Uh, and um, some of my succulents are starting to grow some flowers. I really like this time of year. I love actually every month in the Azores, but I don't know. Uh, it's a great, great place to be in the winter, especially being from Canada. But... How are you doing, Laura? I'm making a nice January soup. What kind of winter soup? soup? What's in it? <laughs> what a day though, I can just see the, the, oh, the sun's out yeah. beaming. And uh, Carlos just picked up some fennel, fresh oh, fennel nice. from the, the garden, and parsley. Oh yes, lots and of parsley. And I've got uh, fresh collard greens in here, uh, cabbage, potatoes, onions, garlic, Pimenta. carrots, Pimenta. a little bit of pimento. Olive oil. Olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper. Yeah, and how do you say collard greens in oh, Portuguese? That's a good, oh my God, I forget. You know. Holy. <laughs> okay. You got, me on, you got me on the spot there. No problem. All right, so I'll let you be now. Can't wait to have this soup. Charlie, one of the expats, caught some fish, pargu, and I'm going to try grilling it. I've never done it before. What better day to do than today? Beautiful January day. Sun's going down. Laura's been doing some gardening. I just visit, visited uh, Lonnie, also an expat living here now. And he actually gave me some of the firewood. I'm actually waiting for some right now. And uh, I'm going to do it. Let's do it. You guys are here with me. Help me out. Hopefully I won't screw this up. If my cousin Louis is watching me, he's a perfect fire starter barbecue guy. It's about 5.30 and look at this. Birds are still out. Ah, oh, I can hear the ocean from here, believe it or not. About 17 degrees, mild. And uh, yeah, let's get this started. Nothing like the simple island life. There's Laura. She hasn't stopped. My God. I don't have a mic for my phone, so I hope the audio is going to be okay. Um, I just wanted to give you a little quick preview of what I've done with the garden. So pretty at this time of night. Anyways, I took some of this uh, grass because it was really overgrowing, uh, taking over the, the garden and my some of my little plants down there. So I took some stalks and look I did a I just put planted them along the, the wall here so it kind of looks like ornamental grass but it's lemongrass so you can use it in your cooking and then I did this side too so hopefully they take here I think it looks kind of pretty. What do you think? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. It's all a work in progress, you know, creativity in the garden. You never know how things are going to look until you plant them. 
and I put the dragon tree over here in the corner. I thought it looked better. Um, Carlos had it over here in this spot, but uh, these trees get tall, so I thought it looked a little bit nicer against this wall. You can see it better. So here we go. Let's have a look coming up the path. There we go. We're going to get some solar spotlights to put around here. I think a few to go against the wall there. We bought one of them and we put it in the garden, in the front garden, just to see how it looks. And I can't show it to you now because it's not dark enough, but um, it works pretty good and it looks quite nice. So we're going to get back to Carlos and see how he's doing with the fire. All right. Wish me luck. I think it's coming along pretty good. Nothing like a nice fire. Just want to make sure there's enough wood in there. I think there is. Small fish shouldn't be, shouldn't be too bad. Mesmerizing. Oh, it's a perfect night for it. I know I should have started a bit earlier, but uh, you forget that uh, the light goes down quick at this time of year. It's about six o'clock. Oh, look at this, guys. Nice. The Mount Tijerino. The Mount Tijerino. Nice lemon here. <laughs> Pico lemon, beautiful. This is great. Not a huge fish, but I think it's coming along. Let me let me turn it over, see how it's. I think we're getting there. It's almost done. Yeah, hey. I think so. Yeah. Are we there? We're almost there. Yep, I think we're there. Oh, Kinesh, Forza, <laughs> simplicity of it all. We have fish, we have a green pepper, and we have some nice rice waiting for us. So, viva Pico! guys so we're back in Lodge today uh, as you know we've been staying up in some materials in the Renault house uh, so we pop back at the house once in a while just to make sure everything's fine especially when it rains everything's great uh, every three days I guess we're back here but today we came back we had to go to the bank uh, so Tanner had to meet with Hugo once again anybody that needs any banking information needs to know anything Hugo is the guy who speaks English great guy so Tanner is the bank and uh, yeah, we, we miss coming to Laja. So when we're here, we miss some Mateo. So it's, these are two great places to belong to and we're fortunate. And I also miss the little cafe up the road here. Uh, Romerji Savoj, we had a nice little galon there. Um, and she gave us some cookies. Thank you very much. So one of the things that we're bringing back to some materials to put in the garden, these plants, I think they're called elephant ears. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, we already planted one in the back and it's growing very well. Can you pull it? Oh, look at the roots on that. Honestly, you can propagate everything here. <laughs> yeah, grab a small one because I want to put a small one in the garden and around. I want to grab a, this, this one's kind of, um, yeah, no, take it because it's kind of falling over. I think it'd be happier. There we go. I think that's good enough for now. Yeah. No, that's good. And then there's, I mean, I think it's, I, this is probably not supposed to stay here, I don't think. No, those are okay there. Is it sucking the juice out of there? No, it's not sucking the juice out of the tree. <laughs> 
Uh, was there something else that we were supposed to bring? Oh, yes. You don't want to bring that variegated? I'm going to show you guys the other plant because it's completely hidden. And look at this avocado tree, how overgrown it is. We're going to find someone to prune this because we could be getting a lot of avocados. So look at this. This was a small little thing that I planted here. And we need a, we need a, you need a shovel? Yeah, okay. We'll get it. We'll get it next time. But we can also take a little piece. Let me see. Yeah, see this? If you just cut if we just cut this this part, this? I can I can propagate okay, well, that. Why don't we take care of this next time? Because you gotta be at up there. And I want to take the whole thing, or part of it. Well, I think I just take part of it. Okay, look at this. That is solid. Look at the size of these. They're huge. Yeah, wow, look at that. All right, guys. We're outside because we're going to transplant those elephant ears that we picked up in Laje. Carlos is just digging a hole right now, uh, but I'm filming inside. This is our kind of what we call our basement uh, because it's very windy and I don't want the mic to pick up the wind because it doesn't sound very nice and hopefully uh, you guys can hear me okay. I'm going to take you outside and see what Carlos is up to. It's, I think it's starting to rain a little bit, so this is going to be quick. Okay, here we go. Uh-oh. Yeah, here's the rain. Let's go. Do this fast. Hurry up. Yeah, go, go, go. <laughs> Everybody plants in the rain, even the farmers. Oh, that's okay. It'll come back. All right, I gotta go because it's really raining and I don't want to get the camera wet. Look at this cactus. We already showed you guys, but it grew an arm. <laughs> Look, little flowers are coming out. It's fascinating. And I planted a few more plants in here. Look at this one. This is a very unusual succulent. I love the texture of it. This one I'm gonna have to uh, take some of these big fat leaves off and propagate. And here's my little cactus. It looks like something's been, oh yeah, snails. The snails have been in here, I think. So there's one plant that I planted in here and it's like a safe haven for snails. See, look at this. Look at the snails in here. I just pulled these snails out yesterday. Don't like that. Anyways, it's all good. Yeah, our uh, cactus has been leaning a little bit, so we need another rock just to hold it up. Okay, I'm gonna go find one. Tree. Here's our uh, Camilla tree. Look at all the little pretty flowers. These are so pretty. Like I said, this is the time of the year where a lot of things flower. And I was telling you about those lily, lilies that uh, I'm going to show you. Look how green this grass is. Our neighbors brought his goats over. I know we've said this many times, but they do such a good job. I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with them fertilizing it. <laughs> but here is... This is where we were barbecuing last night. But there's that flower. 
Yeah, just zoom in slowly so you can see. Isn't that pretty? I was going to cut some to put inside, but I kind of like them. Raw nature. Can you hear the goats? <laughs> the extra neighbor's goats are so cute. Okay, Carlos is in the back now. So he's digging another hole for the other elephant ear plant. And uh, so I'll take you guys out quickly. Actually, it's not that bad back here. Well, it's just raining a little bit, but the wind. So this is why we actually put the barbecue area back here. Because our friend Luzia, when she came over to visit before these walls were up, she said that we should put the barbecue back here. We were going to do it on the side of the house, but it was like a wind tunnel. So let's see what's happening. This is uh, the rest of the bricks that we ordered for the barbecue. Yeah, I think so. So if you guys remember, this is where I did my little garden with the compost. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, just straighten it. There you go, perfect. Yeah, that's, that's such a pretty plant. Did you show our followers our monastery that we planted here? That was, what was that last year or? In, oh, see here. That was planted about a year ago. I think something's been eating it. Is it yep. Yep. Yeah, I think that that one leaf we we should cut because it's the one with all the holes. This one's dying. I just snip it off. No, no, I don't. I wouldn't break it. You have to snip. You have to do a uh, an incision, a proper incision. But we don't want to do that when it's raining because it's like creating a wound, and you don't want to put rain on a wound. And I would actually widen those rocks a bit more, not so close to the base. Uh, okay. Carlos and I both have our own ideas. <laughs> Actually, we were just we were just talking about that saying, well, if I say tomato, he says tomato. <laughs> uh, but we won't call the whole thing off. <laughs> that looks good. Yeah, that looks really nice. Yeah. Yeah, you already asked me that. And um, this is where I planted an aloe. Right here. Looks like a starfish in the rocks. And there's this small one. Let's pick a spot for this one. Huh. And the small one. I really want that in the front garden. The small one. I think it would be pretty there. All right, I gotta carry the tub. Okay, guys, our kitchen table is here. Wait till you see this table, it's so cool. And we only paid 149 euros for it, if <laughs> you can believe that. It's like, what a deal. Yeah, this is going to be perfect. We'll have to figure out how to get it through the door. This should be interesting. Mm. Do you want to go around the back? How about the back? How about through the sliding doors? Okay, we have to go through the back. 
Uh, what about this table here? <laughs> We're gonna have to move that. Hold on. Okay. This should work better, we hope. Wouldn't it be horrible if they couldn't get it through the door? <laughs> like a puzzle. There we go. There we go. <laughs> they got it. Smart guys. Almost there, almost there. We did it. Or they did it. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Uh, there we go. All right, guys, here it is. What do you think? I like it. I like it. Do you like it, Carlos? Yeah, I can get used to it. Yeah, I mean, for the that's price, nice. It's... Yeah, for the price, 149 euros. It's pretty durable. You know, I just think it's very different with it being oval. Yeah. Because we didn't want to do round and we didn't want to do rectangle. So there you go. Well, we could have done a rectangle. Well, we could have, but I think this is we more interesting. Right table, we found the right table, which we didn't. All we need is four more chairs. So the other table that we were using is actually an outdoor table. So we'll put this outside. So uh, what do you think, guys? Look how windy it is outside. It's a windy, cloudy day. Well, it is a stormy day and it's raining like crazy, as you can see behind me. <laughs> the wind is just howling and uh, this is a really good day to be working inside. And uh, even Zena knows that the weather is bad and she hasn't been crying to go out. She's quietly sleeping in her bed. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's maybe time for a tea. But uh, I'm going to show you guys out in the front. She must be dreaming about something. Look at that outside. It's crazy. I love this weather though. I find it very, very relaxing. I actually woke up this morning and did some yoga. And it's nice because you can hear the rain hitting the window and yeah, I'm sure a lot of you appreciate this kind of weather as well. Can't be sunny every day, but you can see down at the coast there, the waves are just crashing. Huge waves. So Carlos is actually going to go down there and film some of that. And I'm going to stay inside all nice and cozy and dry. <laughs> we get some big waves here too at times. Let's see if we get one before we head up. Hard to see through the window. I don't want to open. It's really rainy. That's true. Get a bit lucky there. 
Here's a nice surf coming in. Oh, look at the sound of that. Yeah. Money shot. Oh, good morning, guys. Uh, we've come down to the coast. These waves are massive. Look at this. This is the month of January for you. Look at this. Uh, just today is actually worse than yesterday. Uh, Although yeah. the sun is starting to come it's out. Starting, but uh, the waves are definitely higher. I love this. As long as it doesn't cause too much damage. Yeah. Actually, we were watching Antonio Faria's video and he was showing all the, the mud and the uh, cleanup people cleaning all the roads and so let's go yeah. along the coast here this this video uh, this little bit of video we're gonna use it on two videos one the next video we're releasing of just us hanging out here on the island this week and our January in the Azores video because this is real time raw morning guys it's another day here on Pico Island Still a bit windy, but nothing like it's been the last couple of days, as you saw. Uh, yeah, so it looks like the worst of this storm, this depression, uh, has passed. I forget the name. They're calling this hippolytic, something like that. We'll post it on the thing. So, but it pounded pretty good, and it's still uh, windy. Uh, maybe Sunday we'll get some sun. It'll be a sunny day. Um, anyways, we're just uh, here at this our vet. We're picking up some food for Zena and just decided to take you along with us. I don't know how much we'll film, film today, depending on the weather. We're also gonna have lunch at a place called Pico Oceano and uh, have to get gas, just doing some errands as this video is basically hanging out with us and um, uh, this week, basically. And um, yeah, just uh, doing some uh, things for the house, fixing some things. You're always doing something, right? Uh, we haven't had time to relax too much this week uh, with the weather, you know, making sure the house is uh, no major issues with the wind, with tiles, you know, all these things. Sometimes it's a good test to have a storm. And as you know, I get a little nervous about that more than Laura does. And, uh, but we have to go through this in order to, if there is a problem, we, we can then fix it. We have time to fix it. Uh, but right now, picking up some food for Zena. <music> Pablo, no, tell, tell, tell. Okay, I got, I got a good shot. Ah, uh, meat. Good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Well trained. The young ones, less than a year old. Another one of our quick stops today. These are the guys we got the the couch and they put in the kitchen. We got a few other things. So. We're just checking if they have any humidifiers and we do have a credit here we'd like to use it. Okay guys, we are at the end of the day. It was actually a really great day. The weather turned out beautiful. Sun came out, <laughs> clouds are back, so it's a little bit dark, but I'm sure you can hear the ocean. We met with some friends for lunch and did a few errands. So now we're gonna head back to saint uh, but we wanted to thank you guys for watching this video. Stay tuned for our January video of 2024. I think you're gonna really enjoy that one. And see, now it's starting to sprinkle. We'll see you guys in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Ciao, guys.